Hi friends, in this video we will see how to use Google Colab as an alternate to Jupyter Notebooks in Anaconda. Google Colab is an amazing tool provided by Google which is used to for your machine learning and deep learning frameworks but primarily speaking we can use it to code in Python, right? So without wasting time, let's see how to use this amazing tool in this video. So for that we will open our Google Chrome browser and then here we will search for Google Colab, right? So this first option is Google Colab. So we will be selecting this option and see how this thing works. So this is your home page where you will land after selecting that option so where it's written what is collabority. So basically, as I have said, Google Colab is a amazing tool provided by Google to use your machine learning and deep learning frameworks. But primarily speaking, we can just use it for our Python codes. And this is an alternate to Jupyter notebooks in Anaconda. So basically what happens in Google Colab, you will be you will not be using your local system resources. By resources, I mean your RAM, your hard disk memory and everything. Google Colab is a cloud based platform where you will be using a remote system. And the best part of this is it's free to use. In Google Colab, you can also get access to GPUs in place of CPUs, but that is something advanced which you will learn when you will be doing deep learning type of projects and all. But as of now, we just need to see how Google how we can use Google Colab as an alternate to Jupyter Notebooks, right? For that, the first part that we need to do is to sign in using your Google account. So we have a button here to sign in using your Google account. So for the first time, you need to have a Google account to use Google Colab. As this is a product of Google, you need to have a Google account, right? So we will just uh, put click on sign in here. So here we will sign in using our Google uh, account and I'll be using my default address for that. Click on next. Enter your password, which is already filled. I am signed in into my Google account and I'll just click on not now as of now, but you can just edit all these stuff. So yeah, we are done with the sign in process and now we are ready to use our Google uh, Collab notebook. So why I'm saying notebook here, because in Google, uh, in Anaconda Jupyter, when you're using a Jupyter notebook, right? It's a notebook where you can have multiple notebooks uh, with your Python code. So same thing happens here as well. You will be having all those files with the .IP YNB extension in, in Jupyter as well. When you save a file, you used to have .IP YNB as an extension and same thing will happen in Google Colab as well. So for now we will click on new notebook to use a new notebook, right? So let it load. Yeah. So after we click on new notebook, this is the new notebook with the title untitled 0.ipynb. As I already said, we will be having the extension ipynb here, same as Jupyter notebook extensions, right? So this is your notebook and you can write your Python codes. And the best part is you can have your texts here as well where, that we used to have in uh, Jupyter as Markdown, right? But here you can just add it using dot, or if you want to add a code cell, you can just uh, put, uh, you can just press this button plus code. And if you want to add a Markdown cell, you just need to use plus text here, right? So this is the best part in Google Colab where you can just easily add a Markdown cell and edit all those stuff, right? In place of kernel, we used to have runtime in Google Colab. So when sometimes when your notebook is being stuck or something like that, then you can just restart your runtime. That's here. It's not highlighted as of now because I'm not connected to my runtime. So to connect to your runtime, you just need to click here and you will be allocated a system having a definite memory and having a definite RAM. As soon as the runtime is being connected, it's the same thing in the Google, in the um, Jupyter notebook as well, you need some time to connect to your kernel, right? So same thing happens in Google Colab as well. You will, it will take some few seconds to connect to the particular system. So yeah, my system is being connected and I'm having, uh, just let me show you the active RAM and all those stuff. 
we are uh, we are utilizing 0.76 GB as of now because we haven't used anything, right? So here you can see I am having a 12 GB RAM system here and a hard disk of 107 GB and that too for free, right? So it won't use any of your physical memory. Your if you are having a, a computer system of 4 GB or 2 GB RAM, it won't use any uh, any of your RAM over there. Everything is based on this cloud-based system. So let's uh, write a code here now. Suppose I want to print hello world, right? Print hello world, the same way we used to do in uh, Jupyter Notebooks, the same thing you need to do it here. And then you, you need to press shift enter and your code will be printed. That's how Jupyter Notebook works. And the same thing happens in Google Collab as well. You just need to press shift enter. But the best part here is, Google Collab won't use any of your local system memories, right? And that too for free, you are using it. So it's a very good tool to use. Now let's see how to open an IPYNB file that is already present in your local system in your Jupyter, uh, in your Google Collab, right? So this is these are the IPYNB files that are present in my local system. So I will be selecting any one of those. So let us let's select uh, the clustering.ipynb file, right? We'll open this file in Google Collab and let's see how to open that. So I'll just clear the annotations. For that, we'll go back to our Google Collab notebook. This is the Google Collab notebook that we were just practicing out here, right? So you just do, you don't need to open any other tab you just you can go to file and then there is an option called as open notebook over here you when you are using a new notebook you will be typing your code over there and you will be using it but if you have a notebook present in your local system and you want to open it open it in your google collab instead of jupyter notebook then we will be selecting the option as open notebook or upload notebook and both of these can work. I'll just show you to you how it works. So we'll be selecting the open notebook part here. And the, as soon as you click on open notebook, we will have these options as examples, recents, Google Drive, GitHub, and upload. So the obviously examples are some example notebooks that are present in your Google uh, Collab by default. In recent, you will be looking at those notebook files which are you have opened recently. In Google Drive, you will be looking at those files that are present in your Google Drive. And by Google Drive, I mean when you are using, suppose I will just show it to you when you I will be uploading a new notebook. So after GitHub, there is an option in GitHub as well. You can uh, upload your notebook from GitHub and open it in Google Lab. And there is an option called upload, right? This one. So in, if you want to use a file that is present in your local system that can be present anywhere like desktop, download, C drive, D drive, E drive, anywhere, you just need to click, you need to upload it in your Google Drive first. Basically, every notebook that you are creating in Google Collab, it's, it's being saved in your Google Drive. As I have already said, it's a cloud-based platform. So everything is being saved in your Google Drive. So all those notebooks will be present in your Google Drive. If you want to download it, you can download it from Google Drive as well. But so for that, if you want to use any notebook in Google Collab, you need to upload it. To click to upload, you just need to click here, choose file, then let's go to downloads, right? Or the file I just showed it to, it was present here in C drive, users, Lenovo, and it's present here. I showed you that file clustering.ipynb over there, right? So we'll be using this file. We'll click on open and wait for a few seconds till the notebook uploads in your Google Drive and it will open by default. You don't need to upload it explicitly in Google Drive then open it here, right? You can just upload it from here and open it. Just wait for a few seconds and as soon as the upload is completed, your automatically the notebook file will open here. So this is the IPYNB file that was present in my local system and it's been opened here in Google Collab by just uploading it in your Google Drive, right? 
so this is how the google collab notebook works and google collab tool is a very amazing tool as i have already said try using this because it will use your cloud based uh, resources not your local system and it will just um, make the computation too fun and crazy right because you'll be getting amazing speed because of high ram and all those stuff that that too for free right so yeah that's all for this video i hope you understand how to use google collab yeah so let's meet on some other video thank you